Hi there, I'm Lisa Arana and welcome to today's Assemble This video. Today's cards are all about using one stamp set with three different starry backgrounds. I just love this little owl with the different backgrounds. It just makes these similar cards really unique and individual on their own. I'm featuring the Owl and the Moon stamp set from Unity Stamp Company with our favorite little Owlie hanging out with the moon, plus some really sweet sentiments to go with him as well. I have my Owls pre-stamped on the digital cut files available from Unity, and then I colored them in with Copic markers, plus I have my sentiments pre-stamped and ready to go as well. So we're just going to start with the first one. I'm going to pop up that navy background onto my card base and then pop up my little owl right in the center here. And then place my sentiment, I think, just right here in the corner. And then for our starry element, I'm just going to be gluing on some sequins. I just love the sparkle and the movement this creates, almost like it's a little Milky Way going across the sky behind our little owl. Next up, I'm going to do a little bit of masking on, again, the same navy background. I'm just going to put that right in the upper corner this time. And I just want to make sure my mask is big enough to go behind my owl, and that's perfect, perfect size. Next, I'm going to be using some ink splatters, and this is just some unicorn white spray ink from Hero Arts. You could also use some acrylic paint watered down with a paintbrush. Both of those things work really well. Just doing some nice tapping on that, that lid to create some big splatters and small splatters in a random pattern on that background. And then just drying it really quickly with my heat tool. I popped that up on the card front, put her little owl in that little mast area, and then I'm going to put the sentiment down, I think down in the corner. I like it down there. And I'm going to trim it off. I just created a pencil line and cut it down and then pop that up on the front of the card. And for our last card, we're going to do some stamping and embossing. I'm using this big, beautiful, starry background. It's called Starburst. And I'm just prepping my paper with an embossing buddy just so I can keep down the stray embossing powders. I'm using my original sized Misty to help with my stamping, and I'm just covering the stamp with Versamark ink. First, I thought I'd just do the upper corner of the card, so that's why I'm covering the, the stamp in the areas that I'm doing right now, and then I realized after I did some stamping that I actually wanted the entire card covered, so now I'm doing that as well. I removed that, that washi tape I had down at the bottom and I just stamped um, the entire surface of the card. I did put a mask down, again right behind where that owl is going to be. I wanted to keep the background free of stars just so he popped against the, the navy and wouldn't get lost in all the white of the embossed stars. So I'm just removing that mask and now I'm going to cover my uh, Versamark stamped image with white embossing powder. Just sprinkling that on and again the embossing buddy just really helped prep the paper so all that extra embossing powder just kind of fell right off which is really helpful. I did have a few stray uh, pieces that stuck to that big mast area, so I did get a paintbrush and just brush those off. And then grab my heat tool and emboss the entire background. I heated my tool up for probably a good 15 to 20 seconds, make sure it gets really hot, and then held it close to the paper and moved it quickly so I got a nice even um, embossing on that background. So we're just going to pop that up on our card front. Again, pop our little owl up in the mast area. See how that nice background just really helps him pop against all those stars. And then I'm just going to put my sentiment up in the corner here. Make a little pencil mark and then I'll trim that down. And then pop it up with some foam adhesive. Perfect. So here are our three cards. First, we have our background created with the sequin stars. They just add so much sparkle and movement to the card, almost like a Milky Way effect. 
Sequins are really my favorite way to add a bit of shine to a card. For our second card, we have that splatter background. I love the randomness of this. It really does look like you're looking up into a night sky. We have some big stars, some little stars, just in a really random pattern. And it just accentuates that owl perfectly. And last, we have our bold star background. It's just full of these tiny and big little stars surrounding our alley. And I love the embossing as well. It does create a bit of shine and texture to the card, so it's really pretty. I will have all my supplies linked in the description of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you have any questions or a sweet comment, post below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the three different cards, and I'll see you next time. Bye!